Hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is to have a look and see how your special person might be feeling towards you and your current situation and or relationship. So this might be someone you're dating, it might be someone you're married to, uh, someone you're seeing. That's annoying me a little bit. <laughs> uh, someone you're seeing, um, someone you're wanting to attract um, or wanting to date. Um, it will be a general reading, okay, so please keep that in mind. If you were after a private reading with me, please feel free to reach out, Virgo. Um, my email is listed below this video, excuse me. So let's jump straight into it and see how this person feels. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How does this person feel? Okay, new moon in, Le uh, new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Okay, things are becoming a little bit more sexy here, Virgo. Um, you've got the beautiful, um, big and brave-hearted lion that's coming in around you. So Leo energy, there's quite an intensity. Someone's feeling more confident around you. Someone's feeling a little bit more frisky, um, definitely more open-minded with you. Um, the fact that it is an energy around the new moon in Leo can symbolize someone is feeling... Um, hot, someone is feeling generous, someone is feeling confident, someone, uh, there's a lot of pride or showmanship, okay, it might be that someone wants to parade you around a little bit, Virgo, they might be wanting to show you off to their friends, to other people around them, okay, um, it's not being a wallflower, it's not being on the background, um, in the background, because Leo is definitely seen, um, so it's someone that wants to either admit their feelings to you or they have the confidence to do that, okay? Um, but it's also taking more reign of the relationship because Leo can be um, um, an energy of pressing forward and being the role model or having dominance. So you might see or someone might be feeling like they're more dominant in the relationship or uh, are controlling the pacing of your connection as well. Um, it's, pr it's pride, okay? So someone might be feeling very proud to have you by their side. Um, they feel like they can shine and they can be their authentic selves. There is no pretenses with Leo. What you see is what you get. So someone is actually feeling confident um, that they can be themselves and they can be that person with confidence. So this is nice to see okay there's a lot more confidence and um, intensity that's going to be um, coming into your relationship or your connection with this person virgo so let's have a look and see how this might apply for you let's draw out four more cards okay nine of wands with the ten of swords king of pentacles with the four of swords okay let's have a look at that nine of wands energy can be fire energy here, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, but the Nine of Wands essentially is quite a defensive energy. Um, possessiveness and protectiveness comes to mind. Ownership, okay, the Leo is very, very proud, but also very possessive over his territory and his lionesses and his dominions. So I do believe that someone is getting jealous over you, okay? They're keeping their, gu their guards up, Virgo. They might see that someone else is interested in you or that your attention might be diverted elsewhere, Virgo, maybe to work, maybe to another person, um, maybe to something else that's happening around you creatively. Um, and they can sense this is up. There's definitely jealousy here with the Nine of Wands. Someone feels like they need to beat other people or other priorities off with a stick, Virgo. So if you've been wanting to make someone jealous on purpose, this this will definitely be achieved. Um, if you're not, if you if you're doing this unintentionally, then just be aware that this person you'll definitely have a taste of this. Um, either they'll want to be a little bit more possessive around you, or they'll be more protective. They might want to know where you're going, who you're going with. They might want you to message them when you come home. They might want to know which friends you're meeting up with, or who's going to be attending the same event you are. So there's a lot more interest, and there's a lot more care than you thought possible as well. So. Uh, that's quite interesting, Virgo. I think um, you'll very much enjoy that side of them. Hopefully it's in a healthy way, though, okay? So be careful because for some of you, it can be um, someone's becoming too possessive or too clingy or too um, protective, okay? You've got the Ten of Swords. Now, the Ten of Swords has a few meanings, but look, it can point to a betrayal or it can point to pain or conflict, especially when it comes to words. So there might be a bit of a tiff for some of you. But in particular, I feel like words come to mind. There might be a conversation that takes place here. There might be hurtful words that are said. So someone might be feeling possibly a little bit betrayed 
okay so now they might feel like you might be betraying maybe their trust maybe their time maybe they're wanting to make time for you Virgo and, and you can't make time for them and they might be feeling like you know that they're in a position where they might feel a little bit hurt because there can be a little bit of pain associated with the ten of swords now it can also point to changes um, an old way of life dying the darkness is lifting and something is dawning on them because you can see the dawn in the horizon so someone is coming out of a period of darkness um, if this if you've been waiting for someone to heal Virgo from a past pain um, or really take control of their feelings or their situations and and, and uh, pick themselves up and dust themselves off then I feel that change is coming and you will see that change and you'll definitely see changes in the way that they think the sword is all about communication and you do have a couple of air sign um, air cards here so a Gemini Libra Aquarius if you are dealing with an air sign that might be more applicable to you um, but a lot more confidence this is someone having a lot more self-esteem this is someone that feels very um, reassured in your connection so there might be something you say to them that makes them feel at peace because they also have the four of swords which can be quite a card of tranquility peace um, meditation calm so it's also validation I mean as 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 an earth sign but as someone governed by the sign of uh, by the planet of Mercury Virgo you rival the traits of say some of the air signs especially Gemini so look um, I feel like it can point to someone wants reassurance and will get that reassurance from you just as you want it in return and now this is very very reciprocal okay but I definitely feel like this person holds a lot of power and a lot of confidence um, but for some of you it could even be arrogance okay so just be mindful that these these qualities can be read in different ways Virgo um, the four of swords doesn't point to arrogance however it's really a card of meditation it's a card of reflection it's also a card of taking time away there might be some of you that have a lover or someone around you that you're interested in but this person there might be some detachment and and I think one of the reasons why is because they might be focusing on themselves okay Leo is Sun energy the Sun is divine masculine the Sun is all about the self self empowerment self healing there's someone that want, might want a little bit of distance or independence to work on their mind their mental state um, to work on their spirituality etc so it might be that to for some of you uh, I want to say you might need to take a step back in order to move forward and I think there's something about distance or um, uh, you'll be communicating maybe not as frequently maybe as not with as, as effective communication but for some reason this will be, will be your this is like the lever to success here Virgo so this needs to happen in due course okay um, but there is possibly someone that's daydreaming about you a little bit here as well um, okay they're, they're meditating they're reflecting on you they're praying for you okay you can see it's a tomb effigy he's he's embedded in stone in prayer so there is someone that's praying for things to, to uh, for more confidence in your relationship okay they're praying that you will be theirs there is definitely someone that's one that wants ownership or exclusivity um, also have the king of pentacles now this is a Taurus so for those dealing with the Taurus this um, energy might just be heightened for you. Um, the king of pentacles is an extremely refined energy um, it's the ultimate stability you can't get any better than the king of pentacles because there is no one else above him he's the king of the deck he represents stability he represents comfort he represents um, enjoying pleasure activities sensuality passion sex loyalty the home home life uh, someone is really wanting this with you Virgo okay um, they're either ready to move in with you ready to settle down with you uh, ready to build a home with you um, really really enjoying your company okay really enjoying your company It's quite a powerful energy to have and I think this person is um, is going to say something to you but also the King of Pentacles is all about actions um, he's quite reasonable so I feel like the person that might be around you could be extremely reasonable and you'll see this through their actions it's all about their actions but someone you know the King of Pentacles represents stability so someone sees you as very very stable stable in career ambitious worldly okay quite cultured 
very sensual and, and there's an element of determination because the King of Pentacles doesn't get to his position very, very easily. No, no, no. It takes ambition and drive and practicality and someone is definitely an admiration of this side to you, Virgo. So that's um, quite exciting here. Very nice energy, um, but there is someone that wants to that wants something long term with you. Okay, definitely wants to, and they might dominate this. They might initiate this long term talk or long term planning, um, something about money or accounts or living together or this type of situation as well. Here, Virgo, so that might be something to pay attention to in the upcoming month. I will leave it at that though. Um, I do hope this reading has been insightful, Virgo. Uh, don't forget to check out your other readings on my channel or leave behind a like or a subscribe. That'd be very much appreciated. Um, we shall be connecting soon, so have a fantastic month and bye for now.